a lost relic from the Second World War is roaring back to life. Spitfire NH-341 is the new star attraction at this British airfield, taking to the skies for the first time in more than 70 years and showing few signs of her age. The Spitfires were the Allies' greatest airborne weapon against the Nazis. And the last time this Spitfire touched the skies over Europe, it was carrying Canadian cargo. NH-341 was assigned to the Royal Canadian Air Force's Grizzly Bear Squadron. Nine Canadian pilots, including Bruce Whiteford, who named the Spitfire after his wife, Elizabeth. Only one of her pilots is still alive today. 96-year-old Tommy Wheeler lives in Toronto. Your job is to kill as many Germans as you can. And that's what he did every day. Wheeler was captured by the Germans three times during the war, but managed to escape. And he's never forgotten the feeling of sitting in the Spitfire cockpit. It's like going to heaven, I guess. It's the most marvelous airplane I've ever flown. The Spitfire was eventually shot down over Normandy. The pilot survived, but the plane was destroyed. For the next seven decades, the plane's wreckage remained in France until it was purchased a few years ago by a British businessman who set about restoring the Spitfire to its former glory. Aviation buff Keith Perkins hired a team of engineers to rebuild the Spitfire down to the finest details, including her name. Many Spitfires have got a good history, but they don't have that kind of personal touch. Only a few dozen Spitfires are still in operation. Perkins' company now offers rides to paying customers, though one person gets to fly for free. That was truly marvelous. A couple of years ago, Tommy Wheeler was invited to England to see his old plane being restored. Just amazing that you can understand what we had to go through by flying the same airplane. As I flew. His health permitting, Wheeler hopes to return to England this fall to see Elizabeth take flight once again. Jeff Sumple, Global News, Kent, England.